Hey Cougar fans, Troy Prattley checking in with the Cougar Sports Network here with the first February edition of Coaches Weekly Women's Basketball. Coach, how are you doing? I'm well, how are you? Good. Well, let's recap. You had an exciting week. Your team got a victory against Alverno this weekend. Tell me about that. Uh, yeah, we traveled up to Wisconsin, had a nice primetime game on Saturday night against Alverno and got back in the win column and just really happy for our group and our mm -hmm. team to, to experience that win and do it just together as one. For sure. Jaylene Wade had 20 and Allison McGregor had 16. She had a double-double, 16 rebounds, 16 points. She's been a study player for you throughout her career here at Concordia. What did you see from those two players specifically in that win? Yeah, first let's talk about Allie. Uh, she had that double-double, but she also had three assists to two to or two to two, ugh, three assists to two turnovers and then um, a few steals on top of that uh, so her consistent play has been just that since she started but this year's really kind of been um, a little bit more breakout on the offensive mm -hmm. end and I know she's worked on some things um, in her bag of tricks that has really helped us uh, and get some post points and some uh, points close to the basket mm -hmm. and then Jaylene uh, it was nice to see her uh, score 20 and and kind of run some point kind of run some two guard um, but really get the ball in other people's hands move the ball swing it uh, so it gave other people opportunities to score score as well yeah and do you find as the year goes on that you kind of get a a little better feel of which players play well together or which lineups. How does that how does that work as the year goes on? Yeah, absolutely. I think uh, in the last couple of games since uh, Jaylene's been back, uh, seeing Sydney and Missouri Princess, uh, Allie, Abby, um, they've really been playing together well. Um, that's not to mention other people, but they've kind of been in that consistent mode the last couple of games where they're giving us some production, um, being positive on the assists uh, portion, and then defending as well. So we really like what we're seeing. Um, from them, and that's leading the other people to, to work as hard as they can and sure. be better as well. Yeah. All right, let's move on to this week now. You're going to play in Aurora team this coming Wednesday, but let's not talk about the game yet. Let's talk about this right here. Oh, the yes. The seventh, National Girls and Women's in Sports Day. So what does that mean for your team to be able to celebrate this day specifically? We got these nice T-shirts we designed assume you'll be wearing one, eh? Yeah, 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 I think I can make an outfit um, <laughs> support this matter for sure. Um, I believe that one of our seniors helped design this uh -huh. shirt, so we'll go ahead and give a little shout out yeah. to Emily and then everybody else who contributed. Um, what it means to us uh, being um, a team uh, full of women, and you know we got a few men on our coaching staff, <laughs> but our men also are so supportive of what our women do, mm -hmm. and um, I wouldn't have it done the other way. Mm -hmm. I'm a coach that tries to guide by empowering young women and knowing when we get here and when I first meet them they're typically 16 or 17 years old so I know by the time we go through some of our journeys and I'm a firm believer of you know everything you go to go through whether it's negative or positive is all supposed to meant it's all supposed to happen in order for you to get to where you're supposed to go so I think it's a positive way of looking at some of the the hard things we do endure as women in sports um, and just continuing to fight for um, for equality and everything that that means something to us mm -hmm. and you've seen the women's game just skyrocket in the past couple of years and you kind of felt it coming but now to see what's happening uh, professionally and then trickling down to the college level and what it will do for our sport and for our young women um, it just gives us a lot of confidence and a lot of things moving forward yeah yeah that's awesome so Aurora on Wednesday this past weekend your team shot the ball really well 44 percent from the field and that is about 10 percent better than your your season average say mm -hmm. so what do you got to do take away from this weekend to carry that into Wednesday to be able to come out with a win one of our goals for the game in Alverno was to limit our three-point attempts, and uh, I said 10 was the goal, and looking back at the game, it was exactly 10. Mm -hmm. I think we shot 30% from three, um, and that really gave us higher percentage shots, and we've been trying to get the ball inside more and more because that inside-out ball really skyrockets mm -hmm. your percentage. So um, that being said, on our end, that's something we need to continue to do, uh, but facing a team who averages, I think, the most threes in the league, um, and everybody that shoots them is shooting a very high mm -hmm. percentage. we got to defend the three-point line, limit attempts, and then just take care of the ball against their pressure. Yeah, for sure. Well, Cougar fans, come check it out here, 7 o'clock on Wednesday, February 7th, in Geisman Memorial Gymnasium. For more information on the women's basketball team in Cougar athletics, head to www.cucougars.com. Thanks, Coach, for joining us. Oh, you're welcome. Come good on luck. up. Yep, good luck Friday. Go Cougs.